and um, when I actually said I'd better hide it actually echoed around hell my thoughts and that's when this thing creature came from behind the gates and came around hurrying towards me and I felt an evil wind down there like a wind of corruption I tried to like run from him and the walls came alive and the walls flung me way way up into the air and smashed me against the wall and back down at his feet and at this point I saw my own destruction and though I saw myself as this bronze um, hold on it's not a very good colour I saw myself as this um, bronze being with these long eyelashes which was strange and I saw myself crushed into the ground and those are the cells it was quite rocky and it uh, took a long time to sort of I was drawn like a magnet towards there but it took a long time to get there and it was quite rocky and when I came out of there, I saw cell upon cell on the other side too, going as far as the eye could see, and all of these were cells. And when Jesus came in, it actually cleared away all that fog, cleared away, and I could see it clearly for the first time. Because darkness has to flee in Jesus' presence. And then um, he said, if you don't come with me, I'll skin your arms. And I thought, are you kidding? I think I said, I, everything come out, my thoughts came out. You know, like I was actually um, talking there. So... When he said that, he took my arm and I, I looked down after, because what he said was, and I felt like I shrank when I went into hell. I thought I'll look the other way. But he said I had to look and I looked down, I could see my tendon poking out and my arms were blue, bluish color, but it was a deeper type of blue. And then I had to follow him, uh, I had no choice, and I felt like I was shrinking, so I walked in. I was locked up, and I, as I walked up I can see Roman numerals above the cell, beside my cell. Um, Oh, this is what happened, sorry, next as I saw him stand up against the darkness through the, after I was locked up and he said, I will be back soon to torture you again. And that's when I was freaking out. I was trying to get through the actual bars. My soul was actually trying to slip through all of the bars, but I couldn't and I saw a mock key. Okay, and it's the I heard a brick scraping sound and I ended up on the very my cell ended up after turning that key quite a few times and I hearing this brick scraping sound took me into an actual trap and I think it was the bottom of this pit um, so my cell was teetering over the edge of this black black pit and in front of it was this black black darkness there was goo flowing down the walls and it was like a rocky cliffy walls okay and and I ended up saying that's not a good idea that's a bit dangerous and I was looking into this thick black um, darkness and I felt eternity, no time left, 
time had stopped I was stuck in eternity doomed forever and ever no hope at all and I, in, I could see a lush garden up there and that's Abraham's bosom and I was wishing I could go back to earth now I've done like I'm sorry that I've done such a rough copy but it's just taking so long to draw it so I've just done a rough copy and in the cell I said looking into the darkness I said help me God and then I heard arguing loud arguing and I heard it's not her time yet that can't be for me I'm lost forever must be for someone else because you can't hope in hell you have no way of hoping and at this stage things got really bad and uh, I saw a flash of my own destruction um, my eyes turned black and the black started to spread and torment me from the inside out and the blackness I, I didn't have any eyes just black in my eye sockets and it was spreading through my body this blackness and then I heard 